Welcome to No Filter, this 30 minute all level vinyasa flow to allow us to kindly see a little more clearly. We're gonna start that process from the inside out. So child's pose, toes together, knees wide. If the ground feels really far away from you, then please stack your arms and let your forehead rest there. If, you're, um, if you happen to have a block, you can always bring your block below the forehead as well. I just never know what prop someone might have at home. So forehead to forearms or forehead to mat. If you widen the knees, the belly, the heart can drop a little closer towards the ground. Close your eyes and then just roll the forehead a little side to side. Just smoothing out any of the edges here. There's a lot of tension that we hold in the top of the mind. So this just allows you to pull the breath in a little deeper, a little higher, clearing out that space. Drop into stillness. Take a full breath in. A long breath out. Let's walk your hands to the left side of the mat. Gently the right palm plants on top of the left. Feel that palm press down. Feel the left palm press into the ground. And extend that right side body. As you breathe in, encourage a little more room between your rib cage. Nice. And then walk your hands through the middle. We'll come to the right edge of the mat. Plant left palm on right. Again, finding that sensation, palm to hand, hand to floor, pressing down. And then extending through that left side body. From the left hip to the left pinky tip, get a little more room between the ribs. Yeah, slide that inhale to the seam of your shirt. And then inhale, come back through the center. You're gonna crawl yourself forward onto the belly Untuck the toes as you press the tops of the feet into the mat. Feel the pubic bone press down. Feel the arms align with the breastbone. Press the palms down on an inhale. Lift the heart. Roll the shoulder blades back, low cobra. Exhale, release. Now take your hands as wide as the mat. Finger pads stay down. They are both pushing the floor away from you and pulling it towards you. Palms up on an inhale. Again, lift the chest, maybe a little higher. Roll the shoulder blades back. Exhale, lower. And again, take the palms a little wider. Finger pads down. On an inhale, lift the chest even higher. Maybe even feel the tips of the hips begin to stretch. Stay here for a breath. Exhale, lower nice and easy all the way down. Slide yourself back to a child's pose. Let's interlace the hands behind us. Again, if you have some sort of a, a strap or strap um, substitute, and you wanna bring that between the hands, please do. But roll onto the crown of the head and bring the shoulders towards the sky as the palms reach a little higher and you release that tension from the top of the head. Notice the length to your neck here. It's a good space to shift the jaw a little left and right. Lower the hips back towards the heel. Draw the palms forward, palms press down. Feel the 
the knuckle of each finger press down. Feel the finger pads press down. And then begin to curl the toes under and lift your hips up and back for your first downward facing dog. Again, just like in that cobra variation, you want to feel as though you are both pushing the mat away from you and pulling it towards you. Feel the whole outline of the palm press into the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Long breath out. Nice. Let's walk your hands towards the back of the mat. Forward fold, back of the mat. Feel the mat below foot. Maybe even rock a little forward and back. Yeah. Again, just sensing what's real. And the body always tells us what's real. The body is very honest. Right? And it pulls us into the moment. So it feels the mat below the ball joint, below the pinky toe and each side of the foot. Right? Notice that sensation of connection and pressing through the feet, draw the thumbs to the hip creases. They are the reminder to keep the hips back as the chest pulls forward halfway. Exhale and fold. Again, inhale, draw the shoulders back, lift the heart forward. Exhale, fold. And again, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Yeah, this time you're going to press the hips back and you're going to kind of swan dive all the way up to stand. So I guess a reverse swan dive. Nice. Inhale, reach the arms above the head. Let's catch the left wrist. Take a side bend to the right. Inhale through the middle, catch the right wrist, take it to the left. Inhale through the center, fill your lungs. Exhale, fold forward, empty as you go, bend the knees. Walk your hands to the top of the mat, high plank pose. Again, find that alignment, shoulders over wrists. The elbows are, are strong but not locked. Breathe in. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the chest, lower the chin as the elbows go straight back. Inhale, lift up, low cobra, one. Exhale, release, slide the hands out a little, palms up, finger pads down, cobra, two. Exhale, release. Take the palms off the mat, cobra, three. Exhale, release. Palms back by the breastbone. Slide yourself back to downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Yeah, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, step maybe hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Reach up, reach the arms nice and tall. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees as you go. Inhale, lift halfway. Plant the palms, step or hop back, high plank, lower all, maybe halfway down. Inhale, low cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Nice, inhale the right leg towards the sky. We're going to tip the right hip open, bend the knee, roll the ankle, spread the toes. You can feel that sensation of palm to mat and that you are pulling and pushing the mat away from you. Arms strong and then draw that right knee up a little higher. Feel the whole right side body engage. Breathe in. Right knee across the body, left elbow. Three-legged dog. Again, right to left. Inhale, three-legged, right to left, three-legged dog. Nice. Draw the knee to the nose, supported side plank. Inhale, lift the left arm towards the sky. And draw the shoulder blades together and see if the head can fall back here.
Pressing the right palm into the mat. The left arm lifts a little higher. Draw the left arm over the ear. Draw the left palm down. Knee to the nose. Three-legged dog. Nice. Right knee, right elbow. Squeeze. Three-legged. Right to right. Three-legged. Right to right. Three-legged. So getting into those side bodies that, again, are easy to ignore unless we're critiquing. Draw the knee to the nose. Step the right foot forward. Inhale. Rise up. Warrior one. Okay, so we're coming into the body with a kindness, with a curiosity. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, feel the front and back foot pressing into the ground and moving towards one another. Again, sense that surety of the ground below you. And then lift the heart. Exhale, hands to the ground. Downward facing dog or roll through a vinyasa, your version, your practice. Come back up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, inhale the left leg towards the sky. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Again, palms down. Wrists, shoulders, hips align. Feel that left knee lift a little higher. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, deep inhale here. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. We're going to do this three times. Inhale, lift. Take it across. Inhale, lift. Yeah, see if you can bring that side body into play as the knee touches the elbow. Inhale, lift. Knee to nose. Supported side plank. Drop the knee. Feel that right side body lengthen. Right foot down. Take the right arm up as the left arm presses the mat away from you. Where's the head? Where's the heart? You choose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah, can you let the heart lift a little higher? Draw the right arm over the ear. Right palm down. Bring the left knee back towards the nose. Three-legged dog. All right, left knee, left elbow three times. Three-legged. To the elbow. Three-legged. Knee to elbow. Three-legged. Bring the knee back to the nose. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one, inhale as you rise up, reach the arms. And again, feel front and back foot press towards one another. Yeah, and then even sense that back arch lifting up. We draw our awareness to the minutia, to the steady involvement of the whole body. Right, we rebuild that trust so that again, we can see a little more clearly. We don't have to make an excuse here. Right? Just be where you are, breathe in, breathe out. Another draw, another deep breath in. Nice, palms to the ground. Again, vinyasa or slide right to a downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, step maybe hop forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up nice and tall. Chair pose, drop back. Breathe in. Exhale, arms back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Interlace the hands, puff up the chest, and fold forward. And each inhale and exhale, it's like that action of fogging up a mirror or your glasses, right? And then it allows you to reveal a more clearer picture. Right? Just coming into that, that surety, that capacity of your breath. Recognizing that really the practice is more about that breathing pattern than it is about any posture. The postures are good for sure, but if you're breathing, you're doing your work. Release the bind. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step or hop back. 
vinyasa. Inhale, lift. Down dog, come back. Breathe in. Breathe out. On an inhale, float the right leg towards the sky. Drop the hip open, bend the knee. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Dancing warrior or supported side plank. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice again, finding that strength in the side body. Left palm down. You're gonna bring the right knee to the right elbow. Three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. Nice, draw the hands back, interlace behind you, lift chest. Humble bow, fold down and in. The belly can rest on that right thigh bone, but let the head drift towards the ground. Release the bind, low lunge. Back heel up, the back knee can always touch down. Twist as the right arm reaches. Draw the navel towards the back. And then take the right arm up and over, balancing half moon or standing splits. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice. Drop the left foot to meet the right chair pose. Nice. And then bring the hands to the thigh bones as the hips drop back. We're going to cat cow the chest. So pull forward on the inhale. Exhale around the back. Inhale forward. And the back. You can allow this to be a little awkward, but know it's also productive. All right, that strength in the legs and that pliability in the back body. Nice. We're gonna lift the heart one more time. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale, drop over the legs, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Plant the palms. Again, step, maybe hop back. Chaturanga. Lift up. Down dog, come back. Breathe in. Breathe out, reset. Inhale that left leg towards the sky. Tip the hip, bend the knee. Breathe in, lift a little higher. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Dancing warrior or supported side plank, you choose. Bring the right palm down. Left knee comes right across the body, left elbow. Three-legged dog, nice work, you guys. Step the left foot forward, warrior one. Inhale to rise up. Interlace the hands behind you, proud warrior. Press the feet down and towards one another. Humble bow, fold. Keep that action of the legs. Right, be aware. And the belly can rest on the thigh. Drop the head, drop the neck, drop whatever weight you carry to your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Release the bind, low lunge. Split the left arm towards the sky. Little twist here. And then balancing half moon. Standing splits, an option, unwind. Yeah, really bright in the lifted leg and the lifted arm. Nice, right palm down, this time high plank pose. Step the legs back, you can always drop the knees if you need to. It's unnecessary to keep the knees up off the ground but find that stability in the pose wherever you are. And then again, keeping the hips buoyant and active all at once. Some cat cow right here. Again, it is messy business, but just be in it. Again, dropping the belly, drawing shoulder blades back, rounding the chest. And again, drop and round, drop, Round two more. Feeling the shoulders getting stronger by the breath. 
One more. Neutral, down dog. Breathe deeply in, deeply out. Yeah, walk your palms about halfway back. Nice, you're gonna drop the right heel down about 45 degrees like a warrior one foot. You're gonna reach the right hand around the left shin and bend the right elbow about 90 degrees. Slide the breath below that right shoulder. Yeah, maybe take a peek under the left armpit. And then release. Walk the dog. Make a little shift. And then come back. Left foot drops down, 45 degrees, right palm, roots, bend the right knee, bring the left hand in front of that right shin, the hand wraps around the bottom of the right leg, bend the left elbow, breathe in, breathe out, yeah, and again, sure of the mat below the palm, below the left foot, maybe even begin to sense the texture of it. This is you paying attention. This is you doing your work, allowing yourself to accept exactly where you are with a little kindness. Yeah. And then <clears throat> bring the knees to the mat as you release both hands to the ground. And tabletop pose, just traditional cat cow here, dropping the belly and rounding the back. Feels good, right? And again, inhale, drop the belly. And round the back, yeah, coming into concert with the breath. Bring the left palm right below the nose. On an inhale, bring the right arm to the sky, wave the hands. We're gonna thread the needle, take that right arm underneath and through. That left arm can reach forward. The left arm could even wrap around the back if you'd like to feel this a little differently in the shoulder. forward feels good in my upper back but again you do you I'm gonna stay here for maybe another breath or two wherever that left hand is bring it back below the left shoulder you're gonna unwind all the way to a supported side plank. That right leg is gonna reach back. The right arm's gonna lift up. That left leg is like a kickstand out. Feeling the mat below the palm and the knee begin to float the right leg. Option to bend the right knee, take a bind. Breathe in, breathe out. Release the bind if you have it. And then bring the right palm down, the right knee down. And again, cat cow. Right. Neutral spine. Right palm right below the nose. Inhale, the left arm's gonna lift up. And then thread the needle. Take that left arm underneath and through. Again, this shoulder might feel different. So what you did on the left might feel differently on the right. So adjust accordingly. An option to take that right arm and wrap it around the low back. Maybe it finds your left hip crease. Maybe the right arm stretches forward 
and to the left. Bring that right palm back below the right shoulder and then unwind again all the way to a supported side plank. That right shin is like a kickstand, the right palm below the shoulder. Take that left leg back and the left arm up. Float the left leg and then bend the knee, catch the top of the foot. Take a bind or not, you can just play with balance here. You can just float the leg. You can keep the left leg on the ground. I want you to always know that you have choices in your practice, especially at your home practice. Nice release if you have a bind. And bring that left palm down, that left knee down. Child's pose. All right, on an inhale, begin to float the chest up. Make your way to your sits bones. We are going to lay the back body the mat and come into a figure four stretch. So just getting into the hips as we round out the class. Okay, just making sure this is a, a full purpose flow for you. So figure four, the left foot, we're going to keep it on the mat. The right ankle is going to cross over the left knee. This might be enough for that right hip. Or you can bring the left knee towards the wall behind you and interlace the hands behind the left thigh. The right elbow can press on the inside of the right thigh bone to help you extend that right knee forward. Not necessary, it is an option. But if your head and shoulders are off the ground, then, then don't do that. I want your head and shoulders to be supported by the ground. So even if it means letting go of some variation of a bind, let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, we stay in these hip openers a little longer. There's a lot of latent tension and sometimes a little drama that lives in the hips. So we're just gonna visit here for a bit. Again, no judgment. Right, just a fluid breath in and out. Nice. All right, we're going to release the left foot to the ground. We're gonna keep this shape, this figure four shape, but bring the arms down just for a little more leverage. You're gonna press the arms down, you're gonna lift the hips up just a little, and then you're gonna kind of shift the hips back and then come into a twist, figure four shape, twist, supine twist. So the left hand can reach for the right ankle and the right arm can reach out. Keep pulling the breath to the right rib cage. You might even feel this a little bit in your glutes. That's okay. That's good even. Bring yourself back out. Come back to the spine. Bring both knee or both feet to the mat. 
And then drop the knees like windshield wipers left and right. This doesn't have to be with any rhythm of breath here. Just know that you're breathing, that you're not holding the breath. All right, come into stillness. And then we'll set up for the other side. Right foot on the mat. And this time the left ankle crosses over that right thigh. And again, each hip is a little different. So if this is enough on this side, then stay. If you want to bring that right knee towards the back wall, you can do that too. But again, just make sure your head and shoulders aren't lifting. You want to make sure the head and shoulders are easy on the ground. That left elbow might press into the left thigh bone. Again, it's all optional. Breathe in. Breathe out. Yeah. And if you feel like you're really accumulating a lot through day, this week, this month, this quarantine, then just really allow yourself to linger in the exhale. Right? The inhale will take care of itself, but allow yourself to really promote and release your fullest out breath. Now bring the right foot to the ground. If it's lifted, bring your arms to the ground. Again, just another point of connection to the mat so that you can lift the hips up and then just gently slide them towards that long edge so that you can take that twist. This time to the right, right hand to left ankle. That left arm reaches out, eyes drift over the left shoulder. Bring both feet to the mat. Let's take the arms back behind us. We're going to lift up to an easy bridge here. Just a nice restorative bridge pose, pressing through the heels. Feel the back of the head. Feel the tops of the shoulders. And then vertebra by vertebra, bring the back body down. Come into your final rest. Now that can be a constructive rest. It can be souped about a kanasana. Feet together, knees wide. It can be shavasana. You can take the arms out like a starfish. You can bring them long at your sides. Or one palm to the heart, one palm to the belly. And just move in a way that feels good and right in your body and know that that's the truth. Rest easy here. Please stay in Shavasana or your final resting pose as long as possible. I have 30 minutes is all the time you have and let's take a big full body stretch here and then rest on your favorite side and press yourself up to an easy seat Rooted through the sits bones, light in the heart, and clear in the mind. Together, let's take a deep breath in. 
and out. Palms to heart center. Namaste.